This is just a quick tutorial to go over the final folding stages for the Maker Mask Origami, which creates the three-dimensional shape. So here we've got the mask. It's got the top folded over three quarters of an inch. The flexible nose band is in place and it's got the two attachment loops for the silicone band or other head strap. And then it is just stitched in place. And I've got two pleats, two three quarter inch pleats. It's important to note that if you're struggling with the thickness of the material in the final folds, you can use one pleat instead of two. All right, so from here, we take the mask and we turn it over and then take the bottom edge and fold it up so that it is flush with the top edge. After that, we take that edge, we just fold it up and we turn down three quarters of an inch of it. And that will create the trim along the bottom edge of the mask. And then we take the corner and we fold that up. So it creates a 90 degree angle and comes flush with the trim of the mask. It should also, for this particular folding pattern, come flush with the top edge, right? And then we clip that in place. Okay. And then we do the same thing for the other side. It's a bit like creating an origami boat, All right? So we check the alignment comes right up to the edge and then we clip that in place and then I already gave you the preview preview you push the edges in and then you'll sew along that bottom trim to get the characteristic three-dimensional shape this one shows that line already stitched into place and then when you're ready to use the mask, you expand out the pleats and adjust the nose bridge to fit your face. And then uh, you can see that this creates a really nice big space for the mouth and nose. And then the silicone bands snug this up so that it makes a really good fit to the face. And that is the Maker Mask Origami quick tutorial on the folding.